lights fans heaters and chargers all powered by electricity but where does this power come from the answer lies in faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction faraday began with a simple setup a coil a magnet a galvanometer when nothing moves the magnetic field is steady and no in- induced emf when the magnet moves magnetic flux through the coil changes the galvanometer needle deflects one way when the magnet enters the opposite when it leaves This proves that a change in magnetic field induces an EMF. In a machine, instead of moving a magnet in and out, a rotating magnetic field is used. As the rotor spins, its flux continuously cuts the stator conductors, inducing alternating EMF. The faster the rotor turns, the more the times each second the magnetic flux cuts the stator conductors. The induced EMF depends on the rate of change of flux linkage. In simple words, speed. This can be measured directly. At lower speed, the climb meter shows about 60 volts. Increasing the speed. The reading climbs above 120 volts. The faster speed, higher induced EMF. From Faraday's simple coil and magnet in 1831 to today's powerful alternators, this single law powers our modern world. Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction, the foundation of electrical generation.